Have you ever given up on a game because it was just a bit too hard? Well, I'm here at the University of New South Wales to meet someone who's working on a solution for that, that uses our feelings to change the way we look at games. G'day, Alan. How you going? Good. How's it going? So, can you tell me, what are you working on here today? I'm gathering EEG data from the headset, and so we want to be able to use this data in real time to make a game easier or harder, depending on how you're feeling at the time. The game I've chosen is called Spelunky, and this is a, a action platformer. I've used this game because it's got lots of obstacles, traps. If you die, you've got to start all over again, so you're less likely to make the same mistake over and over again. What results have you found so far? I've definitely noticed large spikes in frustration when people are dying. So then our interest was how do we make the, the content adapt to the, to the user? How do we make them, um, how do we make it change so that as, you, as I get better at playing the game, the game presents me with more challenges and more interesting things that I haven't seen before. And so we turned to the, um, to the emotive device to actually measure their brain waves in order to see whether or not they're really being challenged at this particular point in time. These headsets have little nodes that get placed on your scalp. The headset measures electric signals that are firing off near your scalp. So it captures these and produces them into the data that I'll be analysing. Great, so can I have a go? Yeah, sure, I'll hook you up. Excellent. We'll just adjust the nodes, just to make sure everything's touching your skin. Monkey, 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 monkey! Ah, ah, ah! Watch out, watch out, ah! 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 Whoa, oh, ah! Dead. And frustrated, clearly. Okay, so how did I go? All right, so this is a graph of basically what was recorded while you were playing the game. There are places where you were frustrated for 10 to 20 seconds at a time. I probably died there, I died there, I died there. Yep, I died a lot. Yep, especially at the end. Especially at the end. My frustrations are off the charts. As a designer myself, I see it as a really useful playtesting device. One of the hardest things is to measure uh, how the player is feeling throughout the game. You can ask them questions at the end and sometimes they can remember, oh, that bit I was, re was really hard and that bit was really easy. But often that's kind of unreliable, that kind of reporting. And so to have something that it can measure there and then when the player is feeling that the game is difficult or when the game is easy, that would be really valuable to me as a designer. We could see the elimination of the difficulty system altogether and so there won't be a need to make monsters harder or easier at the start of the game. It can just happen while you're playing the game. Ah. Well, hopefully one day we'll see technology like this powering a whole new generation of games. And who knows, when we shake our fists and complain at the screen, it might just listen. <laughs>